Hi, welcome. This is James Damschutter. I'm here to have a brief video introduction to diversification optimization. It's the cornerstone of our sub-advisory program and one of the uh, numerous dimensions of the true diversification program. So you can see them listed under the umbrella here. When we talk about diversification optimization, uh, some people m might think that that's perhaps old hat. Uh, but it couldn't be further from the truth. Um, diversification optimization is really a, a, a re revolutionary new optimization process, and it puts diversification uh, out there on its own, and you could do whatever with it you want from there. And the reason this is so important is because the old world um, wants you to think that risk and return are, are two different things. Uh, so you could then you know optimize for uh, one of them, and you know find a you know a superior portfolio but the fact is risk and return are one dimensional you have more risk you lose more money you have more return you make more money so any optimization process the benefit that um, you know that society's had from you know modern portfolio theory is really directly to to its diversification so we had the thought why don't we go get diversification directly Diversification um, is visualized within the true diversification process, and the visualization is directly intertwined with the optimization. So basically what we're doing is we're mapping all these assets to find the best fit location for them. And that best fit location thus explains the level of balance that that portfolio achieves. So once we have these uh, um, interrelations uh, all optimized and visually explained, whether it's uh, two dimensions, three dimensions, or more dimensions, we're able to impose this, uh, it's a convex hull. We think of it as a, a 3D efficient frontier. And what that does is it wraps around this portfolio, it gives it some body, and it tells us what investments that are on the outside of that, creating all those vertices of the facets um, that we want. And it might reveal other investments that we uh, can discard. Now, now that we've you know, added body to that portfolio, we could analyze that body based on its symmetry and understand its portfolio diversification. And we see that visually as balance. So to optimize the portfolio, it's the same visualization process that we use. It's just a matter of putting the assets in proportion to that balance level. So we begin by um, you know, assigning all the right directions to send any of those vectors. The second part then is that uh, we allow some sort of utility function to permeate the model. So the, the greater an asset's utility function, the more we like it. The more we like it, the further out its vector goes. We can see this uh, vector here in the 10 o'clock position is about twice as far as its you know, two nearest highly correlated peers. That means we like it twice as much. This matters because those longer vectors do a better job of helping to grow that portfolio in that direction. Um, so by putting this frame around the portfolio, that frame actually selects for us all of the best investments. And not just best investments, but best investments as it pertains to how it all comes together at the portfolio level to help diversification. What it also reveals is that there's many weak or inefficient assets that aren't doing a good job of helping to grow that portfolio. They're stuck inside of it, and unless they're able to you know, reach that hall and help extend that portfolio on their own, then we don't want to invest in them because they're going to drag down the portfolio performance. To put assets in proportion to their diversification, it's a lot like just a simple, dumb pie chart. But instead of 2D and a little bit dumb, it's three-dimensional and it's pretty smart. The individual asset allocation weights are simply the three-dimensional object's prorate of volume contribution to the 3D polyhedron. So uh, here on the right side, we see SHY has this orange area. Well, if you d take the sum of all the volume that's assigned to that uh, orange wedge belonging to SHY, and then you divide that by the entire volume of the polytope, it's 
So 18% puts that asset in its optimal proportion of diversification and whatever other considerations we've made in that portfolio. Diversification optimization is able to bankroll volatility as alpha. And it works because of this trifecta of diversification, volatility, and rebalancing. The three combined act as a profits ratchet where rebalancing activities bankroll volatility. You know, you know the small um, deviations in the prices of uh, any underlying asset and because we have diversification, so those assets are going you know, differently at different times, we're able to redirect capital back and forth, and it acts as a profits ratchet. And that's the secret to why diversification optimization can outperform any other weighting scheme or approach on the market.